double-decker buses in London and 50 pound trucks in the North Island of New Zealand and then I'm driving tall coaches down here in the South Island. It's going to be quite a long day, we should be back in Queenstown approximately 12 hours from now so make sure you're comfortable. We're now making our way to Tianu, which will be our halfway point, it's approximately a two hour drive from here. We'll have another half hour. we have Lake Wakatibu. This is New Zealand's third largest lake. Measures 84 kilometers in length, 5 kilometers in width at its widest point, and approximately 400 meters deep at its deepest point. And it's around 10 degrees centigrade. There is a Māori legend that goes with the lake. The giant Matai steals Princess Manata, and then her father declares that any warrior brave enough to rescue her can marry her. So a young warrior named Matakuri goes in search and eventually finds her tied to the giant. So then he starts crying and then his tears dissolve the binds and then he manages to rescue her back. And to ensure that the giant doesn't return, burns him while he sleeps and the great fire causes all the snow and ice on the surrounding mountains to melt and fill in the berth where he lays which creates the lake. So if you have a look at a map of Lake Wakatibu, it looks like a person sleeping in the fetal position. And the level of the lake rises and falls, and that's due to the giant's heart, which is still beating today. Well, that's the Māori legend, but in actual fact, it is a glacial lake. Thank you. 